The most recent image of the interstellar object 3, I, Atlas, has just been released. It was captured on the 5th of November 2025 by the Lowell Discovery Telescope in Arizona when 3I, Atlas, was at a distance of 1.38 AU, that is, 1.38 times the Earth-Sun separation from the Sun and at a distance of 2.23 AU from Earth. 3I, Atlas, appears as a bright ball of light, comparable in size to the point spread function, PSF, that defines the telescope's resolution. There is a faint glow around it, similar to an atmosphere or coma, but there is no clear evidence of a cometary tail. The atmosphere was observed with a green filter, optimized to detect diatomic carbon molecules, C2. It is brighter in the bluer filter. According to Dr. Avi Loeb, the new image shows no evidence of a dust tail pointing away from the sun, as expected from massive evaporation of a natural comet near perihelion. This is surprising considering NASA's JPL report here about a non-gravitational acceleration for 3I, Atlas. Based on momentum conservation, as discussed here, I derived here that the mass fraction lost during 3I, Atlas's perihelion passage is greater than 13% if it is a natural comet. This should have resulted in a massive coma with dust and gas that would have been pushed by solar radiation pressure and solar wind to form a typical cometary tail pointing away from the solar system. This morning, at 4.10 a.m. Universal Time, UT, on the 8th of November 2025, the interstellar object 3I, Atlas, exhibited a complex jet structure, M. Jaeger G. Raymond and E. Prosperi observed 3I, Atlas, at 29 degrees of separation from the sun in the sky, as reported here. The stacked images, consisting of 24 exposures in the green filter, each lasting 35 seconds, two exposures in red filter, and two exposures in blue filter, show a large, bright halo extending up to half a million kilometers, five arc minutes. The images show at least seven distinct jets, some of which are anti-tails in the solar direction. At the time of observations, the comet was seven to 10 degrees above the horizon. Eventually, twilight interfered with the observations, which occurred under bright moonlight. Is the network of jets associated with ice pockets on the surface of a natural cometary nucleus, or are they coming from a set of jet thrusters used for spacecraft navigation? We don't know. In a significant discovery for astronomy, the Meerkat telescope managed to detect hydroxyl molecules in the interstellar object 3I, Atlas. The observations captured radio absorption lines produced by hydroxyl radicals, molecules composed of one oxygen atom and one hydrogen atom. These detections occurred at two extremely precise radio frequencies, 1.665 and 1.667 gigahertz. The successful observation took place on the 24th of October 2025, under challenging conditions. At the time, 3I, Atlas was positioned very close to the sun in the sky, with only 3.76 degrees of angular separation, approximately seven times the sun's apparent diameter. This proximity made observations particularly difficult due to interference from solar radiation. It's worth noting that this detection was not obtained on the first attempt. The Meerkat telescope had made previous attempts to detect these signals on September 20 and 28, 2025, but both observations were unsuccessful. The subsequent detection in October therefore represents an important milestone in the study of this mysterious interstellar visitor. Now, imagine you're looking up at the night sky and discover that something is looking back at you. Something that traveled for light years through the cosmic void. Not by chance. On the 5th of November 2025, two photographs changed everything we thought we knew about our place in the universe. These images revealed something that the global scientific community is struggling to explain. Its name is 3I, Atlas. And today, we're going to discover together why this object might be the most convincing evidence that we are not alone in the cosmos. To understand why Atlas is so extraordinary, we first need to understand what interstellar objects are. Imagine our solar system as an island in the cosmic ocean. Occasionally, bottles in the water reach us, objects expelled from other stellar systems traveling through space for millions of years. So far, 
we found only two confirmed visitors, Oumuamua in 2017 and Borisov in 2019. Both already left us perplexed, but Atlas, Atlas is different from anything we've ever seen. On the 5th of November, 2025, the Virtual Telescope Project released two photographs that left the scientific community in a state of shock. In the same image, we see two objects, Comet Lemon from our solar system, displaying exactly what we expect, a bright tail pointing away from the Sunday, and Atlas, completely clean, without any sign of the tail that should be there. Dr. Avi Loeb, Harvard astrophysicist, did the calculations. To explain Atlas's behavior, it should have lost more than 5.5 billion tons of material. Where is this massive gas cloud that should be impossible not to see? On October 29th, at its closest point to the sun, Atlas began doing something that gravity alone cannot explain, accelerate. NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory detected that Atlas is four arc seconds away from its predicted position. This may not seem like much, but when you're tracking something 203 million kilometers from the sun, this deviation is gigantic. The object is accelerating at about 0.02 millimeters per second squared. To put this in perspective, over just one month, this small acceleration pushed Atlas out of its expected path by about 80,000 kilometers. The acceleration has two fascinating components, radial, 135 kilometers per day squared, pushing it away from the sun, lateral, 60 kilometers per day squared, moving it laterally, it's like throwing a ball and mid-air, small rockets start firing, changing its trajectory. Something is pushing Atlas. For a comet, the natural explanation is outgassing. When ice heats up near the sun, it turns into gas and fires like a rocket engine. This is totally normal for comets. The problem is the amount of gas that would need to be coming out of Atlas to create this acceleration. Atlas weighs at least 33 billion tons. It's between 1,000 and 1 million times more massive than Oumuamua or Borisov. Its core is about six kilometers in diameter. Dr. Avi Loeb applied basic physics. If you know the acceleration and the mass, you can calculate how much gas needs to be ejected to create that push. The result? Atlas would need to lose at least one-sixth of its total mass. 5.5 billion tons of gas in just one month. That amount of gas would create a massive and incredibly bright cloud. It would be impossible not to see with our telescopes, but it's simply isn't there. The nine anomalies. But the absence of the gas cloud is just the beginning. Atlas presents nine anomalies that challenge our understanding of physics. Let's analyze them one by one. First anomaly, the impossible trajectory. Atlas is traveling aligned to just five degrees from the plane where all planets orbit our star. Imagine a table where all the balls are rolling on the same level. That's the ecliptic plane. An object coming from another stellar system should arrive from any random direction in space, like a ball thrown from far away that can come from above, below, any side, but Atlas arrived almost perfectly aligned with the planet's table level. The probability of this happening by chance is only 0.2%, like hitting a tiny target in the dark. Second anomaly, the jet that defies physics. During July and August 2025, Atlas did something never seen in nature. It created a jet of material directed straight toward our star. All known comets do the opposite. They always create tails that point away from the sun, like hair flowing in the wind when you run. It's a basic physical law. Solar radiation pressure pushes material outward. Atlas broke this fundamental rule, as if someone were running but their hair flew forward against the wind. Third anomaly, too big and too fast. Atlas is a million times more massive than Oma Muamua and a thousand times larger than Borisov, but still moves faster than similar objects. It's like finding a giant truck overtaking race cars on the highway. Larger objects in interstellar space normally move slower due to the gravitational forces that expelled them from their origin systems. Atlas breaks this rule with very low probability. Fourth anomaly, timing too perfect. Atlas arrived with perfect timing to pass close to Mars, Venus, and Jupiter, but remained invisible from Earth during the most important moment, perihelion. It's as if a tourist visited three important cities in a country, but managed to completely avoid the main airport security camera. The temporal precision of this sequence is extremely rare, rarer than winning the lottery. Fifth anomaly, factory composition. Spectral analysis revealed that Atlas contains much more nickel than iron, a proportion typical of metallic alloys produced industrially on Earth. Natural Comets should have a random mixture of metals, like a soup of cosmic ingredients. But Atlas has a specific recipe, as if someone had carefully chosen the ingredients. The probability of this specific composition occurring naturally 
is very low. Sixth anomaly, dry as a desert. Comets are known as dirty snowballs because they are 80, 90% water ice. Atlas has only 4% water. It's drier than many deserts on Earth. It's like finding an iceberg that's almost all rock. This characteristic challenges the very definition of what a comet is, suggesting it might not be a natural comet. Seventh anomaly, impossible polarized light. Atlas showed a light polarization pattern never seen in any known natural object. Polarization is like light's fingerprint. Each type of surface creates a unique pattern. It's as if Atlas had a fingerprint that doesn't exist in any file in nature including all comets ever studied, even Borsa. Eighth anomaly, connection to the 1,977 mystery. Atlas arrived from the same direction as the famous WOW signal of 1,977, the most mysterious radio signal ever detected, and which many consider the best evidence of extraterrestrial communication. The directional precision is impressive, like two events separated by almost 50 years pointing to the same cosmic address. Probability of this coincidence is very low. Ninth anomaly, hotter than our star. Now, Atlas appears bluer than our own star, suggesting it possesses an internal energy source hotter than the sun's 5,800 degrees Kelvin. It's like finding a candle that shines more intensely than a bonfire. This indicates technology capable of generating temperatures superior to our star, something completely beyond our current capability. It's important to understand that scientists aren't declaring that Atlas is definitely alien technology. The argument is about scientific methodology. When you have data that doesn't fit your theories, you can't just dismiss the data. You have to take it seriously and explore all possible explanations, even the uncomfortable ones. Some scientists were saying the data must be wrong because they couldn't explain it. Dr. Avi Loeb told them that's terrible science. You can't say the data's wrong just because you don't have a theory that fits it. We've seen this exact pattern before with Oumuamua. The first interstellar object also showed non-gravitational acceleration, but showed no gas or dust coming out of it. Even the super-sensitive Spitzer Space Telescope couldn't detect any outgassing. Scientists ended up calling it a dark comet, which is basically an oxymoron. The defining characteristic of a comet is its tail of gas and dust, but Atlas is showing us something even stranger than Oumuamua. It's showing two additional strange behaviors that make the natural explanation even harder to accept. First, there's the brightness issue. As Atlas approached the sun, its brightness increased following a power law with an exponent of negative 7.5. For people who don't speak math, Here's what this means. Normal comets get brighter as they approach the sun, following a power of negative two to negative three. Atlas is getting bright much faster than any normal comet. It's increasing at more than double the rate we would expect. This is completely unprecedented. Second, Atlas is blue. It's appearing bluer than the sun itself at its closest approach. This is extremely strange because dust naturally makes things appear redder, not bluer. Atlas's surface should be about 20 times colder than the sun's surface. Cold surfaces don't glow blue, they glow red. Natural explanations involve ionized gases like carbon dioxide emitting light directly. This is possible. But each natural explanation we propose needs to face all nine anomalies simultaneously. And so far, none have succeeded. The physics is clear. Massive acceleration requires massive mass loss. If we don't see the gas cloud that should accompany such mass loss, we're left with only one explanation that fits the data. Between late November 2025 and late January, dozens of ground-based telescopes, including the Hubble Space Telescope and the James Webb Space Telescope will all be observing Atlas. On December 19th, it's making its closest approach to Earth at 167 million miles. If that massive gas cloud is there, we're gonna see it. But what if it's not there? This is where the scientific discussion gets really compelling. If we don't see that massive gas cloud, then the natural explanation fails. If there's no cloud corresponding to the amount of gas needed to create this acceleration, then we have to seriously consider that the acceleration is coming from something else something technological. If Atlas is technology, we're observing propulsion capabilities that challenge our understanding of physics. A civilization capable of sending probes across light years of empty space with surgical precision, demonstrating propulsion capabilities that challenge our understanding of physics itself. The countdown to potentially the most significant discovery in human history has begun. In just a few weeks, we'll know if we're truly alone in the universe or if we're currently observing our first confirmed visitor from the stars. Hundreds of telescopes 
telescopes will be searching for 5.5 billion tons of lost gas. If that gas isn't there, we'll know we're not looking at a comet. We'll be looking at something much more extraordinary, a piece of technology from another world demonstrating propulsion capabilities that challenge our understanding of physics itself. Stay tuned, because we're about to witness either the most unusual comet in cosmic history or humanity's first confirmed encounter with extraterrestrial technology. Subscribe and hit the bell because in December we'll have the most important observations in the history of astronomy. In the comments, tell me, do you think Atlas is an extremely strange comet or our first real evidence of extraterrestrial technology? And more importantly, are you ready for the answer? The truth is just a few weeks away.